If you're looking for a thrilling crime drama, look no more. Star's critically acclaimed series Hightown is returning for season two. The plot takes center stage in a picturesque scenery of Cape Cod marred by something sinister as a woman's journey to sobriety while becoming a real cop clashes into the crime wave of dangerous drugs flooding the Cape. Take a look. It's still playing cop. I'm not playing anymore. There's a new product on the street. We need to find out where it's coming from. And we need to shut it down. Put me in, coach. Ooh, and joining us right now, one of the stars of the show, Jonah Chow. Jonah, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, us. Sharon. Good morning. This is such a deep story. I love it. And you play Daisy, a working class woman at a local strip club. So tell us more about your character and what you love about playing Daisy. Yes. So I work at the strip club that Renee um, and Frankie run. So Daisy's very bubbly on the outside, but she's very calculated um, and ends up dating uh, a new character played by Luis Guzman, who plays the most charming psychopath ever. <laughs> <laughs> so I play his girlfriend. Um, so we stir up a lot of trouble for our leads and uh, I get wrapped up in some tough situation so you find Daisy oftentimes caught between like a rock and a hard place so what I love about Daisy is she's a whatever it takes kind of person she knows what she wants and she um, does whatever it takes to get what she wants um, so yeah I really respect that about her <laughs> oh yeah don't play with her and you said that this yes. was one of the hardest roles you've ever had to play how so <laughs> yeah so it was and there's a lot of physical, mental, emotional preparation. Um, it's very different than a lot of the characters I've played. And um, like even on the physical side, uh, I remember this was a weird, fun story. It was during the pandemic. Um, so I took lap, dan lap dancing lessons to prepare. Um, and we were in a park near my place. And I was lap dancing with a giant large plush reindeer <laughs> in the park in my bikini oh. so that was like a fun part of the preparation <laughs> and different that is uh, different I think my neighbors were like what is happening <laughs> <laughs> way to get involved you know immerse yourself in that character right? and figure out how to do it i love that <laughs> well the, the yes. show the show can be kind of dark but it also has some humor yes. along with twists and turns so what can fans expect this season Sure. So this season, um, it gets crazier. There's mm. uh, lots of twists and turns. You get to see different sides of your beloved characters, like Renee and Monica and Ray. Um, there's uh, a queer relationship that, um, you know, Jackie ends up developing. So um, Jackie played by Monica Raymond. And also there is so much humor, especially when you have someone as hilarious as Luis Guzman like every scene uh he would just improvise at the end and I felt like I was always on my toes and it was like watching a master class in acting <laughs> um every time I got to work with him so yeah you can expect a lot of laughter um and also just uh, you'll be in your feels <laughs> for sure <laughs> and lots of shocking things happen you don't think something's going to happen, and that's when it hits you the Ooh. hardest. Oh, okay. Looking <laughs> forward to that. And really, really quickly, too, because there's diversity in the show, but um, can we talk about diversity in Hollywood? And as an Asian American, do you feel that the industry is evolving to make sure that minorities are represented in a more authentic way, or is there still a lot of work to be done in, in your recollection? Sure. It's definitely gotten better. I remember back in the day, I feel like I auditioned for a lot of, like, uh, nail tech um, roles and nothing against that uh, mm -hmm. but there was just a lot more stereotypical roles um, and now I think there's a lot more uh, variety in terms of the types of characters that are being um, uh, that Asian Americans are playing and even for Hightown um, our amazing showrunner Rebecca actually called me after I booked the role and asked me like what my ethnicity was and she wanted to possibly change the last name of the character to be more reflective of my background so we're seeing that more and more and you know um, on Hightown it's like a show run by women um, in front of the camera behind the camera which is amazing at the same time I think as an industry 
We definitely still have a ways to go. Um, I still think there's uh, some whitewashing that happens and um, we're not all the way there yet, but I'm grateful the, for the progress that we have seen. Yeah, at least there's work being done. Thank you so much, Jonah, for joining us this morning, all the way from Thank LA. You. I know he had to wake up early, so we really appreciate it. All good. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sharon. Thank have a great you, day. Thank you, you as well. And we would like to thank STARS for helping with today's interview. Hightown Season 2 is set to premiere Sunday, October 17th.